I got something to say about the finish. So Roman Reigns, Jey Uso for the WWE title. Roman has ditched the flak jacket. He's gigantic. And it comes out here... And at the beginning of the match, I mean, they gave Jey Uso nothing early. It's just like they lock well, the up. Well, whole, the, the whole story of the match is that Roman Reigns is like two levels above Jey Uso. So, well, I mean, they tell that for most of the match, but Jey did get a comeback. Well, of they course tried he has very to get... hard to convince you that he was going to win. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I they. I mean, they did give him the splash off the top, which was a which was a big spot and everything. They, I mean, they had to give him some offense to tell the story. Um, that you know, Ro- you know, that Roman. Didn't take him seriously, and he did prove something. But then in the end, it was such a massacre by the time the thing was over. But that was the idea. I mean, this this match was not for Jey Uso at all. This match was 100% for Roman Reigns to set up I don't know who. I mean, like at the end of uh, SmackDown, you got the tease that might be Bray Wyatt, which is weird, you know, because then is Bray Wyatt now a baby face? I think Bray Wyatt's a baby face. Oh, okay. That's nice. Maybe not. I don't know. By the way, Roman spears him. And he can go for the cover, but then he says, no, I want I want you to call me Chief. And Uso refuses, so Roman spears him again. And then he demands Jay look in the camera and tell the whole world that he's the boss. He runs it all. Jay Uso says, not today. So Paul says, Roman, you're the tribal chief. Roman says, Paul, I don't want to hear from you. I want to hear from this guy. And so... Charles Robinson, he, he basically Roman gets in ground and pound. It's just destroying Jey Uso. Well, I'm watching this going. Charles Robinson just needs to stop this match. Well, Charles Robinson tries to pull him off. Roman cuts a promo on him, tells him not to ever do that again. Charles Robinson just stands there like sheep. Roman continues beating on this guy. Finally, Charles says, "Uso, you want to quit?" And Roman stares him down, and Charles Robinson backs off. And so out comes Jimmy Uso. He's limping down the ramp, and he's got a white towel. He asks Jay if he wants him to throw in the towel. It's like, Which is stupid. Of course Jay's going to tell him no, otherwise he would have quit. Yeah. So Jay says no. Roman tells Jimmy to get in the ring and say that he's the chief. And Jay's begging Jimmy not to throw in the towel. Roman continues his beating. And finally, Jimmy throws in the towel, and the match is over. My only problem with this finish is that... I just watched SmackDown, where Alexa Bliss gave Lacey Evans one one-thousandth of the beating that Roman Reigns gave Jey Uso, and the referee called for the bell. Yeah, but that was a DQ. It doesn't matter. The referee should have called for the bell for something here. Oh, no, 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 This no, wasn't no. excessive I, violence. Oh, no, no, no. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. That should have been a ref stoppage. Um like, yeah. if you're going to do this finish on the pay-per-view, why in God's name did you do that finish on TV on Friday? Do you think that they t- even thought about this? It was two, two days ago. Th- but I don't think they were even thinking about, like, oh, because we're, we're going to... That was a DQ. This wasn't a DQ. Well, this I mean, ref was- looked like he should be fired. He should have stopped it, or he should have called for a DQ for excessive violence, whatever. Yep. But yep, he yep, didn't. He course. just stood there. And yep. granted, they had a story they wanted to tell, but, I mean, you can always tell the story where... Roman kills the guy, and the ref stops the match, and then Roman continues to kill the guy. Then his brother comes out, whatever. But anyway, yes, the whole point of this was to get over that Roman Reigns is just the most diabolical guy, and it was great in that sense. Roman is the greatest heel. He's absolutely awesome. He was great. I love this gimmick. He was great in this match. He should have done this like six years ago. Three, four, yeah, whatever. I mean, if he if he would have done it, if he would have done it when he should have done it, he would have been a super baby face by now for ago, sure. Four years ago, because he's going to end up as a super baby face when this is all said and done. Yes. So, and then he's not going to get booed. Although I said that after he came back, well, he really didn't get booed after he came back from cancer. It was just he just wasn't. You know, they just kind of did what they always do. You know what? They may end up doing what they always do with him too, especially if Heyman's not around. You know, <laughs> well, um, hopefully Heyman stays around then. Yeah, because this there was a lot of this that that I mean, when they when he was doing like the really vicious ground and pound, I mean that's total Heyman because Heyman's an MMA fan, and it's like I know that like that Vince McMahon doesn't think like that, so I know that's not Vince McMahon, but um, I mean I'm sure there's some aspects of it that that are, and I'm sure that Roman has a lot of um, input into this as well, but. Um, it's really well done. I mean, well, the I, Roman I, character is unbelievably great. This is the greatest yeah. Roman Reigns ever, by far. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, it was a very it was very gripping. I was really into it at the end, like a lot more than anything in WWE in a long time, as far as just really you know really good storyline. I thought Jey Uso was tremendous. Um, and, and really like you really wanted to see him do well, but in the end, in the end, he did come off like he was a prelim guy and not a, a real big star, but you'd still wanted to see him do well. And you sort of were sad for him that he was not really, um, a top guy, I guess.